that's the problem with doing Roth conversions and capital gains, trying to stay into the 12% bracket. That's the only time where you don't want to do capital gains on top of the other stuff. Uh, Eva from Maryland writes in, she's like, hey, I recently discovered your podcast and I really like it. Well, we did hit 2 million downloads. So Two million. thank you, Ava, for adding to that. Wow. wow. Okay, cool. I'm single, retiring on December 31st. You will not have any earned income in 2023. Um, I plan to convert 54725 from my tax deferred account in stock and sock it into my existing Roth IRA to stay in the 12% tax bracket. 12950 of the converted amount applies to the standard deduction. Look at Eva with the yeah, numbers. Yeah, she's got the numbers to the dollar. <laughs> she's <just> like <laughs> dialed. It's like, wow, no wonder why you really like this show. <laughs> she likes my answers. I know, she does. She's like, yeah, oh, Joe's arrogant. <laughs> um, I'll be living off of sales of a single stock that I would be liquidating. It is appreciated over the many years, so I'm not really selling it low. Um, oh, she's classifying this is the market's volatile yes and she's already thinking that we're going to be judging her right by selling the stock to right. live off of while right. the market's down how dare you <laughs> she's like well it's not really low because yeah. I've, I've accumulated a lot over the years right consider where it's been yeah what do on. you think like tesla oh, apple netflix yep my cue is that stands for question i think oh. yeah i think so I, i'm following by the way, <laughs> how much of the, you pause to see if I was following? How much of a single stock can I sell and still stay in the zero percent capital gain bracket? Uh, well, if you do the conversion of fifty four thousand seven hundred twenty five, uh, the answer zero. Is zero. So if you don't do the conversion, you could do fifty four thousand seven twenty five of gain, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not of not of value of gain, because. That's the problem with doing Roth conversions and capital gains, trying to stay into the 12% bracket. That's the only time where you don't want to do capital gains on top of the other stuff. Because if you do that, then the, then the capital gains are taxed at the, at the uh, 10, 10, 15%. Yeah, 15%. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it, you pick one or the other or a combination of the two. Um, so Yeah, the, the combination of the two should add up to 54,725. I'm assuming your math is right. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Oh, and boy. if you're a dollar over, don't lose sleep over it. You'll pay one dollar at twenty two percent, not the whole thing. So, okay, great question. Um, again, the capital gains, Roth conversions, zero percent tax bracket. Capital gains is zero percent in the twelve percent tax bracket. Uh, we converge, or <clears throat> we encourage people to take a look at conversions, especially in the 12% tax bracket, because it's super cheap. Yep. So she's thinking, yes, I like that. I want to get money out of my retirement account. I'll pay the 12% tax bracket. I'm not going to have any income. I'm going to live off of this a brokerage account that I made some money along the way. I got to sell some of it to live off of. How much can I sell and pay 0% tax and still do the conversion? So Eva's plan is going to be, all right, $52,000 of total income in a sense of conversion and capital gain to keep that capital gain 0%. Even though the capital gain sits on top of ordinary income, you don't want that capital gain to push out of the 12% because then every dollar over that will be taxed at capital gains rate. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.